team deathmatch. All right, guys, what is up? And I'm bringing you guys some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. Class it up UMP with bling suppressor and the FMJ attachment. So just so I get that out of the way, this game is pretty old, so I'm not gonna get into detail about Modern Warfare 2 because you know I'm pretty sure most of us already know about it, and uh, a lot of people don't care about old games, but. You know, this is the very first Call of Duty I ever played, and I don't know, I just felt like hopping on some Modern Warfare 2 a couple days ago because uh, I'm taking a break from Modern Warfare 3 just because I have played it to holy hell, so I thought I'd take a break from it, so plus it's just something different to upload. Uh, I will upload some Modern Warfare 3 in a bit because I know that's what everyone likes to see, but hey, you know what, Modern Warfare 2 is not that bad of a game. And, uh, you know, when, if, if there's not a uh, really bad noob tubes, it's, it's actually kind of fun. But let's get into today's topic, is Netflix Canada. Now, around this time last year, I remember I was going to grab, uh, or make a subscription for Netflix, and my friend, who I uh, used to know on the PlayStation 3, was always telling me, because he lives in Canada too, and he's like, nah, man, Netflix isn't even good, you know, they have a bunch of old, like, movies that you won't know about, and, like, a bunch of, like, old documentaries, and, like, a bunch of boring stuff like that and he was telling me that but uh i think it was i don't know like five months ago uh, netflix got like a subscription or not a subscription but they got a a contract so they can get a bunch of better stuff for like netflix canada because netflix america had a bunch of good stuff and netflix canada didn't have half the movies that the american version had so it wasn't as good but uh just recently i got netflix since they've upgraded and they actually have some good stuff on it now and I must say that Netflix is definitely worth the money. And the reason I'm making a commentary about this is because I've been spending more time on Netflix than I have on Xbox in the past week to week and a half. And I hardly do anything else besides play video games, even though that kind of sounds bad, like I don't have much of a life. But to be honest, it's true. I do spend a lot of time playing video games and a lot of time on my Xbox or, P or uh, PlayStation 3. And, you know, lately I've just been watching Netflix, and there's very little things on this world that, uh, you know, kind of makes me put down the controller. Uh, this lately, especially the past, like, six months, or seven months since Modern Warfare 3's come out, I don't think I've ever played so many video games, or so much video games in my entire life. Uh, this past year since Modern Warfare 3's come out, I think I've pretty much, uh, played just as much this past year that I have my whole life. I almost have 30 days of Modern Warfare 3. I think I might have 30 days by now, playing time, of course. And, you know, I've actually put down the controller for a while, and I don't miss it at all. And that is because I've been doing nothing but watching different TV series and movies on Netflix. And now, you know, I'm not, I've never really been a huge fan of TV series, but, you know, I've got into it a bit because uh, a lot of my friends have told me what TV series are on there. I would have to say that Breaking Bad is probably the best TV show I've ever seen in my entire life, and it's on Netflix. It has uh, the first, I think, three seasons, and the fourth one uh, I just watched on another website because the fourth season's not out on Netflix yet, and I didn't feel like waiting because the series was that good that I didn't have time for Netflix to bring out the fourth series yet. But I must say that Breaking Bad is probably the best television show on TV as of right now. I believe the fifth season is coming out. Of course, that's just personal opinion, but, you know, I just think that show is absolutely amazing. And I've also been watching The Walking Dead, which they have the first two seasons on Netflix as well. And that, that TV series is really good, too. And I've always never really been, like, a fan of the slash or slash, like, zombie apocalypse thing. But it's actually a pretty good show, and it, it really gets to, like... Uh, you connect it with the characters and stuff like that, and it's been it's been a really good show. At first, I was like, you know what, I don't think I'm gonna get to like this because it's kind of cheesy and unreal. But you know, it's actually not that bad once you get watching it. It's actually a pretty good show. And you know, these are just the two first things that I've watched on Netflix so far. Uh, I've been told to watch a show called Dexter. Uh, I've heard some good reviews about it, and it's on Netflix as well. So you know, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and watch that. Some other good movies I've been watching is just Paranormal Activities. Uh, I watched all of them because Netflix has all of them. They're actually just pretty good shows as well. Or sorry, not shows, movies. They're uh, pretty good movies. I don't know. I'm kind of into like the whole, uh, I guess, spirit haunted and like, ghost films. They're kind of cool. And I watched uh, Haunting Connecticut, which is you know apparently supposed to be one of the scariest movies out there. I didn't think it was that scary, but yeah, no, it wasn't really that scary at all. But it was a it was an alright movie. But overall, I'd have to give uh, Netflix a pretty pretty positive review for the most part. Uh, I really do think it's worth the money for sure. And uh, 
I don't know, I, I felt like it would be a good thing to make like a commentary, but just let you guys know my opinion. I'm not sure how much different the Canadian version is from the American now. I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm, I'm sure by now they're, they're pretty similar, or at least I would think so. I don't see why they wouldn't be, but I remember, uh, like I said a couple months ago, there was a fairly big difference between the American and uh, Canadian versions. Watch this guy get played right here. Wait for him to fire his whole clip. Boom. While he's, or sorry, while he's reloading, I come upstairs and, uh, Pull the old rangers out on them. And man, do I miss shotgun secondaries. Man, I hate the shotguns in Modern Warfare 3. I don't really like any of them that much. Even though I've been using them lately. But, well, I haven't been playing Modern Warfare 3 lately. But when the times I have, uh, I've been using like weird shotguns. But anyways, guys. I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, have a nice day, guys. I'll make sure you get some Modern Warfare 3 outside. Peace.